I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. For me, this is a great exercise to train my mind to see patterns. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east. We're going to say we're the dealer for these, so I'll get 14 random tiles each time. Let's exchange that. Two dragons singles we have a pair here and a pair here I think what I would do is discard these and play all simples all two through eight maybe discard the three and focus on dots and cracks for one voided suit all simples is two a voided suit is one that's three if we did all chow, that's two, that's five. We need three more. Let's see, two, three, four, two, three, four, eights, two, five. Hmm. We would need to come up with three more points in here. I think this is how I would play it, though. How much is a pure straight? Oh, pure straight, 16 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's a pair. Maybe a pure straight. We're kind of light though in this seven, eight, nine chow. I think I would still start by discarding those first. Okay, we're gonna go on to south round. flowers. Wow, look at all these honors. We do have pairs here. One, two, three pair. South round. We have a pair of the wind of the round. We do have our wind. So also single dragons. If we could pair these up, we might be able to get score there. I think I would try all Pung. Discard these first. That would also be one voided suit. So I think that's how I would do this. All Pung. Wind of the round, maybe seat wind or Pung of dragons. Surely we'd pair up one of these. Okay, we're gonna go on to West Round. Let's exchange that flower. One, two pair, two, three, five, three, four, four. I think I would throw the dragon and then try for, oh, there's a pair. One, two, one, two, three pair, all pung. We're using all three suits, no honors though. No honors would be one point. All Pung is six. 
that's seven. We need one more. We have four, five. Hmm. I was thinking mix shifted pungs, but we don't have a three crack or six crack. So that is light. Let's see. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. We do have some knitted straight potential. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, and then we have a nine. So yeah, that's a bit straggly, but the possibility is there. I think I would consider either all pung or knitted straight. Knitted straight is 12 fawn, but two, five, eight, four, seven, nine, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit gappy. I don't know. I think I would try for probably all pung, but we would need to come up with one more fawn somewhere. If we get rid of the dragon, we could do no honors, but we need another fawn. Either a three crack or six crack pung, maybe. We do have three, five, three, four, and four. There is a potential for a mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is eight fawn. Maybe that's what we should do here. Push for mixed triple chow. Either way, we could discard the green dragon and take it pick by pick. Oh, this one was rough. Okay, let's go on to north round. Okay, now we have, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, one, three, three. We have all the threes. Let's see, if we get rid of the West, do we have knitted sequences, knitted tiles? One, four, seven, one, seven, two, five, eight, huh, five, and then three, six, nine, or three, six, nine, one, four, seven. Mm, yeah, no, I don't think there's enough representation there. I would not try anything knitted there. I think what I would try here. I think I would discard these first, hold these for potential mixed triple chow with one, two, three, or three, four, five, two, three, four, who knows, or half flesh. A half flesh is six fawn. We would need two fawn somewhere else. So we would have to Take it pick by pick here. But I think I would start by discarding these. I've been told that shifted chows is one of the most flexible patterns.
for Mahjong competition rules. So I've been training my mind to see those patterns, not just those patterns, but others as well. That's why I like to do these random pulls. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know if it helps you memorize all those scoring elements. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.